Hi pool fans, it's the Terminator. Welcome back to another episode of Terminator Tips. In today's lesson, I have a great safety drill for you developed by Alex Laley. It's called containing safeties. This is especially useful when there's only a few balls left on the table in rotation games and perhaps when you're playing with a shot clock and you gotta think of something fast. So let's jump onto my pro star table, dive in and show you how this drill works. So here we have a great example of how this is gonna work. Let's say you're playing a game of nine ball, there's only three balls left on the table and you have a shot on the seven. However, the bank angle is not there. It's very hard to do anything offensive. You can't really cut it in the corner, it's a suicide shot. How are you gonna get out of this inning? Plus, let's say you're starting to get higher up in the rankings, you're gonna play bigger tournaments, and once in a while you get a shot clock that you have to deal with. Now let's say you have 10 seconds left to pull the trigger and you're still not sure what you have to do. You have to think of something quick, something simple, and that is what a containing safety is. It's not a snooker safety per se, but it's something to get you out of the inning, make it as tough as possible for your opponent, so you can get another inning at the table to do something even more productive. So for example, on this shot, we could decide to play the seven ball thin into the rail and send it over here to the middle of the short rail. Bring the cue ball one or two rails back and leave him a tough bank shot. Or if you're lucky, he gets frozen on a rail and he can't even bank it. See, so right there, that is something that got us out of the inning. Super tough shot for our opponent. Something quick that we came up with. That's an example of a containing safety. Here's another great example of a shot that comes up a lot, especially when you're playing nine ball, potentially nine on the spot. What happens then is the nine stays around the spot after the break. And a lot of times there's another ball close by. This creates a nice little wall. So if you're in a situation like this, could be with the shot clock or not, it's very wise to play what's called a split shot. You send the object ball to one side rail and the cue ball to the other side rail. This creates a lot of problems for your opponent and with this containing safety drill, you're gonna get a lot of repetition on this shot. It's gonna come up a ton and you're gonna get better speed control over it and use it in your matches consistently. In this case, it's a little bit of high left. It's all speed control from there. And use those two balls to get behind. The good thing is if you hit it a little bit thin, then the object ball comes slightly lower, but the cue ball comes slightly higher if you hit it with the same speed. And if you catch it a little thick, you're gonna see the reverse happening. Then the object ball gets slightly higher, cue ball lower. So it's a win-win shot if you get the speed down correctly. This video is brought to you by Longoni Cues. So how does the drill work? Well, it's only one object ball and the cue ball. This is your starting position. It's on the kitchen line. Any side of the table, you can flip it around, doesn't matter where you start. The object ball is about two balls from the rail there and the cue ball is somewhere here on a straight line. That's your opening shot. There's only two rules. Rule number one is you cannot leave your opponent an open shot. It has to be an extremely tough cut shot. So you have to be fairly hard on yourself if you're gonna leave something like this, in this order, that is not good enough. Your opponent can just cut that in. However, if it's something like this, this is an extremely tough cut shot. So, something like this, I would call this a good shot. From here, no good, that's a pretty doable cut. So be hard on yourself, this is good enough, this isn't, this isn't makes pretty good sense if you get the hang of it. And the second rule is pretty simple. In an example like this, you're not allowed to play a simple ticky safe more than once. 
So if you've done this, for example, you cannot do that again because you can just do four, five, six in a row pretty simply perhaps. You have to come up with something more creative. Do not underestimate the power of this drill. This looks pretty simple and you think, what's the benefit of this? This is going to make your touch go to another level. You have to control the speed of two balls, object ball and cue ball. And this can work also great if you're warming up on a table that you're not so familiar with yet. If you do this for a couple of minutes, 10 of these shots, you know exactly how the table is rolling and it's gonna really improve your touch and speed control. So let me show you a handful of shots that will come up time and time again and how you should play those. Your starting position shot, you're gonna hit it almost full in the face and it's all speed control. You're crossing it over and send the one to the opposite long reel like this could happen that your ball lands about here or the cue ball lands here either way a lot of times you're coming up with a shot like this for your second shot and this is from the introduction example you hit this thin send the cue ball down there one reel direct or you can go one two cushions and send it here be mindful of the cue ball you do not want to play this with outside spin left spin in this case because then the cue ball is gonna travel all the way around and leave your opponent a shot. Sometimes you can play with a high ball and sometimes you need to apply a touch of inside so you're not gonna scratch in this corner here. Let me show you a couple of these. I'm gonna put a little right spin on this. Also, because it keeps the cue ball more here and it makes the next shot more playable, easier. If I'm down here on the rail, it's much harder to build a run. Same shot, this time I'm going two cushions. Again, with a bit of right spin. It's always good on that one to aim approximately to this middle diamond, then it's gonna slide to the middle diamond on the short reel. Very powerful, look at the result. Then of course you're gonna wonder, what would you do here then, Niels? Well, this is an example of the split shot. A tough one, but it's still a split shot. One ball to the left side rail, cue ball to the right side rail. Let me try if I can do this. There's no try, there's just do, remember? Half ball hit, bit of right, like that. That is pretty good. If you're enjoying the content, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any future lessons. Then we're jumping straight into the example where both balls are on the long reels, the side reels. Then you're gonna send the object ball to the short reel, usually one cushion direct, but when it's fairly high, like here, I can go two cushions again, and you send the cue ball to the opposite side. So let me demonstrate a Two cushion hit. Careful of the cue ball. Let me put a tip of right spin on that one now, because that cue ball got away from me. See, that's much better. Cue ball comes a bit shorter. And for example, here, when you're lower, both balls are more towards the corners. You can go one reel directly, maybe a tip of left spin to avoid the scratch in the side. See, that works really well. That comes up all the time in your matches. And then the final two shots are examples of cut shots. Could be something like this, where you just want to clip it, remember? You're allowed to do that one time, like that, or perhaps on this side, and it's something like this, you can also just thin it the other way. Like that. Those shots come up all the time. Now, let's see if we can make a run and show you the power of this when you're doing this by yourself. If you would like me to do a personal review of your training with something like this or maybe versus the ghost, 
please head over to my Patreon page and check out the various tires that are available to you. They can really, really help you out. If this is your first time working on this, keep it simple. Try to get four in a row, six in a row, or work on some individual shots. If you're starting to get the hang of it, you feel the repetition, then go for six in a row, eight in a row, 10 in a row. We'll put this in your workouts, five minutes, 10 minutes a day is gonna make a big difference. I'm gonna try to do 10 in a row and walk you through it. This is the first shot, remember, just up and down. Fairly thin on this one. I'm still going for one rail with some right spin to keep the cue ball in the open. That's pretty good. And that usually leaves you a split shot. Gonna send the one ball to the left. Some right spin. That's pretty good. Let's see, I'm going for two cushions this time and I'm going to use no spin, going to get the cue ball three rails out, not too much there, that leaves me a split shot again. One ball to my left. Nicely done. Now the balls are more parallel. I'm gonna go two cushions on the one and send the cue ball around. So I'm not gonna scratch. Pretty nice. That leaves you a split shot again. I think we're on five. One ball over there. See, you get that repetition. This is amazing for your touch. That's six. Let's see here. Again, two cushions. Careful of that scratch. I'm afraid of that scratch in the corner. Let's go one cushion because I don't want to scratch. Just really thin. That's good enough. I'm not leaving a shot. Split shot again. This time it's coming high again, that one. So I can go for a two railer down there. I think I'm on eight. Careful. Ooh, just good enough. It's nine. Split shot. Nice, that's 10 right out of the gate, first try, I'm happy with that one. Let's see if we can keep it going. One reel direct, nice and thin. You don't always have to go all the way to this bottom reel if you wanna make a run. If you wanna keep it simple sometimes, just send the Object ball here and cue ball here. That gives you an easier split shot. So if you can play position, you can really make a nice change to your run. Split shot again. I just hit that ball too thin and I left a cut shot on the one. So the run is over. I think I ran 11, that's pretty good for a first try. What you can do then is just start over from a new position, keep it going a couple of minutes more. Take five, 10, 15 minutes a day or a couple of times a week can make a big change for your game.
And here's a little bonus shot for you guys, the double kiss safety in this form. It won me a rack in the Euro Tour final versus Sanchez. I'll put a link here in the top to give you more details. You hit it almost full in the face with some top spin. They're gonna double hit and they're gonna split away from each other. And then the, when there's some balls here, this could really be a powerful shot in your match. Have some fun with that one. There you go, sports fans. Another safety drill to put in your bag. Take this to the pool room, practice this. You can do this in a friendly game with your sparring partner as well. And I guarantee you, if you work on this, you're gonna become much, much better in your tactical game. Don't forget to check out all the other great content on the channel. There's playlists on the side here to boost your tactical game. And remember, if you're finally ready to work on the mental side, head over to the Terminator College, check out all those courses that are waiting there for you. I'll see you in the next lesson.